Sunday night football schedule in 2020. Coming at you here at Chat Sports. Dallas Cowboys at the Los Angeles Rams starting off Sunday night football games. And this is a great way to do it. You got two big time franchises here. The Cowboys going up against Jared Goff. We're going to be comparing Dak and Jared for a long, long time. Let's all go to week two where we got the New England Patriots. They got to travel to the Seattle Seahawks. And I understand Jared Stidham is probably going to end up being the starter here, but Russell Wilson is the guy that I really want to end up watching. And I think you're going to find out real quick whether or not the Patriots are a team that's going to be legit or not. If the Seahawks come out and spank them, which I think could very well happen, I think, though, also, the NFL is just going to play off a big-name team like the Patriots, get them in a lot of primetime games early on, because I think later on you're going to find out that this New England team not going to be uh, from what we've seen in the past. Now, what's the better matchup, okay? Week 1, Dallas versus the Rams, or Week 2, Patriots versus the Seahawks. So if you think it's Week 1, I want you to type 1. If you think it's the Week 2 game, I want you to type 2. For me personally, I'm going to type week one. I think it's going to be a closer game. I remember, I think it was last year when the Cowboys and the Rams played. It was a pretty high scoring game, a good football game. But uh, I'm going to pick Dallas to win that game, and I'm going to pick the Seahawks to win in week two. Let's now go to week three because this game is going to be a game that a lot of people watch. And I didn't mention this early on. Every game that I show, I want you to let me know who you think is going to win. So in this case, Packers or the Saints. I'm going to put my money on the Saints. This game is at home for them. Aaron Rodgers going up against Drew Brees. You got two great running backs as well. Aaron Jones, Alvin Kamara. I think you're going to see two teams that really could be battling out. Ultimately, who wins the NFC? Speaking of the team that won the NFC last year, they're like, wait a minute. What about us? Eagles at the San Francisco 49ers. You got Carson Wentz. He's got some new tools there on offense. They have a new defense with Darius Slay. But there are still a lot of holes there. And if the 49ers would do one thing very well, they find a team's holes, and they just exploit them, period, right? So the 49ers, they were 13-3 and last year. They won the NFC West, and uh, I think they're ultimately going to end up winning this Week 4 game. So obviously, there's a lot of crazy stuff going on in the world right now, and I think even when we go to tailgate to games or go to games, you might have to actually wear a face mask. So if you go to chatsports.com slash stay safe, you can get your favorite team's face mask, right? I got to wear them at the grocery store. I got to wear them when I go out for a run. Heck, for me to even get to work, as you guys can see, we got to wear them. So if you guys want to rep your favorite team during this whole, you know, issue that's going on right now in the world, you can do it. You just got to go to chatsports.com slash stay safe. You can rep all 32 teams by going to that link. And if you do, send me a picture. I'm always on Instagram. It's at MitchellRens365. Let's now go to week five of Sunday Night Football. The Minnesota Vikings at the Seahawks. So the Seahawks, they get two very early Sunday Night Football games. You got Kirk Cousins, a new-looking football team there, very much different on defense. Up against Seattle, I am really going to be interested to see if Russell Wilson and Kirk Cousins really have a high-scoring game or if this is going to be a lower-scoring game. One game that I think is actually going to be a pretty low-scoring game is going to be this matchup here in Week 6. Anytime the NFC West matches up, I just think of defense and running the football a lot. Yes, the Rams no longer have Todd Gurley, but they did go out and draft Cam Akers. And then the 49ers, you got Jimmy Garoppolo. And if I'm Garoppolo, I'm going to go out and prove that I'm better than Jared Goff. So this is going to be a tough matchup and two teams that I, do, I know for a fact do not like each other. Oh, I love how we made this question. Good job, guys. So who's going to have more wins in 2020? The 12s, the Seattle Seahawks, I want you to type 12. Or you're going to go with the 49ers, I want you to type 49. I know we have a lot, and I mean a lot of Niners fans, and I know we have a lot of Seahawks fans that watch our show. So I'll be going in the comments section after this video is out, and I'm going to be seeing who's repping. So King Higgins says 12. I see Shelly says 49. I would say right now I would see in uh, about 69%. 49ers let's now go to week seven the Tampa Bay Buccaneers they're going to go to Las Vegas and battle the Raiders and normally I wouldn't be excited about this game but you got Tom Brady who is historically known for in terms for the Raiders fans for the tuck rule game he's going to have to now go back to Las Vegas or back to play the Raiders this is going to be a game that everyone has circled it's also John Gruden's old team now we got week eight the Dallas Cowboys at the Philadelphia Eagles let me know who wins this game C for the Cowboys or an E for the Eagles. This is going to be a game that could really, really shake out how the NFC East ultimately does turn out. 
Both teams, I think, are the best teams in that division. It also wouldn't surprise me if both of these teams end up making the playoffs. So if you want to stay up to date, and I mean like up to date, we have daily videos. I mean, we have like 10 videos come out every single day. But if you want the latest news, latest rumors, if you want even more than that, like live shows, if you want random shows where we spin roulette wheels, you're going to get that here, okay? We also do watch parties during the season. So if you're looking for a Sunday night football game, chances are we could be doing a show on it. So go ahead, subscribe to the channel, hit that big red button, and turn on your notifications so you don't miss anything that we drop. All right, let's get now to week number nine. And we got the New Orleans Saints. They're going to go to Tampa Bay to play Tom Brady and the Buccaneers. I've said it for a while. This division runs through Drew Brees in New Orleans. But now that Tom Brady has come to town, we got to at least think about, hmm, could it actually turn out to be Tampa Bay, who's got Mike Evans, who's got Chris Godwin, Rob Gronkowski, O.J. Howard, Cameron Brate. They have a very dynamic offense, and I'll be honest, I'm going to be watching a lot, a lot of Tampa Bay games, but I'm also going to be watching a lot of the Saints because right now they're my pick to win the NFC. So Tom Brady, sounds weird. He's no longer a member of the Patriots. So Lamar Jackson against Jared Stidham. Yeah, good luck trying to sell that one. I think this is going to be a runaway game where Jackson, you're going to see J.K. Dobbins, Mark Ingram really just assert their dominance against the New England Patriots. Now, I've had a lot of people, when I see it in the comments, say, Mitch, but they're the Patriots. I think Bill Belichick figures it out. We'll see. I think we'll know by this time whether or not the Patriots are tanking for Trevor Lawrence or if they're actually legitimate. Let's now go to week 11 here where we got the Kansas City Chiefs. They're going to Vegas to play the Raiders. Last season in this matchup, the Raiders held Patrick Mahomes scoreless for three quarters. But they didn't show up in the second quarter. He dropped 278 yards, four touchdowns on the Raiders, and the Chiefs won. For the Chiefs, if you want to prove that you are just dominant in this division, these are the kind of games you got to win. For the Raiders, if John Gruden and Mike Mayock want to prove to the rest of the world that, hey, we are building a younger team here, these are the type of games you got to go out and win. Now we got Week 12. We got an NFC North matchup. I like these division matchups on Sunday Night Football. The Chicago Bears up against the Green Bay Packers. And for a Bears team that won this division in 2018, for a Bears team that went 12-4, and four, all you're really missing is a quarterback. Well, hopefully you got one in either Mitchell Trubisky or Nick Foles because you're going to need them if you want to beat the defending NFC North champions, the Green Bay Packers, who by this is the time of the year, the Packers really start to get in that groove. And I think this is going to be a game that I'm going to bet on Aaron Rodgers and the Packers. So I want you to predict it, okay? Will we have an undefeated team after week 12? Give me a Y for yes, or I want you to give me an N for no, because as soon as we get to like week 12, if there is that team that is still undefeated, it's all we talk about every week, right? I think the teams that have like the best chance of doing it are obviously probably the best teams in the NFL. I think the Ravens definitely up there. The 49ers could be a sleeper team, even though obviously they are in a very tough division. But I think the team that a lot of y'all are starting to pick, because I'm seeing a lot of Ys, probably is the Kansas City Chiefs, and they're up next here on our list in Week 13, where they're going to be hosting the Denver Broncos, another AFC West matchup. And I think John Elway is trying to put together an offense, right? You go out, you draft Jerry Judy in round one, you draft K.J. Hamler, two wide receivers with your first picks. Overall, you draft three receivers and a tight end. Why? Because you're trying to keep up with Patrick Mahomes, Andy Reid, and that dynamic offense. Let's now go to week 14, where you got the Pittsburgh Steelers, who finished 8-8 eight eight last year. And then you got the Buffalo Bills at 10-6. and six. The Steelers probably think, hey, with Big Ben, we can compete for this division. And the Bills, on the other hand, are like, wait a minute, we're going to run the AFC East. This is going to be one of those games where you have that extra playoff spot. I think whoever wins this game, it really could decide who wins their division and maybe who just ends up with a wild card spot. Now, if you don't follow Chat Sports on Twitter, that just means you don't want to stay up to date on all things sports. So try to get us to 12,000 followers. Go to Twitter. We're at Chat Sports. Currently, we're at 11,200, okay? So get out your phones. Go follow Chat Sports on Twitter. And if you want a shout out, I'm going to give shout outs to the people that go ahead and follow. So you got 10 seconds, so you better act quick, okay? I see uh, Dominic K just followed him on Twitter. I see Ronald R just followed him. So go ahead, follow us on Twitter. We are at Chat Sports. Two teams that we cover very, very closely, the San Francisco 49ers and the Dallas Cowboys. Why? Great followings of both teams, also winning histories. This is going to be a game that's going to be a lot of fun to watch in Week 15, and I think both of these teams are going to be in the playoff mix. For the 49ers, you probably want to ultimately win your division and be battling for the number one seed. And then you got the Cowboys, who, guess what? They're going to be trying to obviously win the NFC East because the Eagles are probably going to be up there too. 
This is going to be a great game. Make sure you guys are tuning into that one. Let's now go to week 16 here where we got the Tennessee Titans up against the Green Bay Packers. And I think if you're the Packers, the way that you got beat last season was in the run game. You got absolutely exposed by the San Francisco 49ers. So what do you got to do? You got to really get into the trenches and slow down King Henry. Because if you can slow down this Titans running game, you're going to win this football game. If you don't, that's not going to help. Also, for the record, Titans, they were 9-7, and seven, not 13-3 and three last year. So which Sunday night football game are you most excited for? Let me know in the comments section below. We went through a lot of them. I know it's probably going to be a game that I just talked about. I mean, I think you almost got to say the Cowboys and 49ers would be a great game. I think anytime early on where we get the – there's some good Ravens games early on in there. Um, I like the division rival games always, either, whether it's the Packers or the Bears. So what I want you to do is watch the video, get up to date, and then we'll figure out you know which Sunday night football game you're most excited for. And if you haven't already, make sure you hit that sub button.